Mixed tips from CLA. All right, Yanni, here we go. Another one. One of the very important ones, well, they're all very important, but one that you have to make sure that you take, your monitors. How are you listening? How are you mixing? Are you on headphones? Do you have monitors? Okay. Make sure that these monitors are set the same way all the time. Make sure that you listen to something you know before you start. Okay. Now, for me, it's different because I'm always in front of the same ones. I'm, I'm used to it. And I always listen to something I know on the speakers right before I mix. This way, there's no surprises. Be aware of what your monitoring is. And monitor at the same volume the whole time, if you possibly can. Okay? There's one thing to turn it up and make sure that your, your beats or drums or whatever are hitting hard. But once you're past that point, find a volume, stick with it, and work from there. Now... For some guys that have, a, you know, a room that's just, it's their bedroom, it just, it doesn't sound good. And, and no matter what monitors you put in there, they're just, it's going to sound bad. And they end up mixing a lot with headphones. Uh, can you work well with headphones? Can you still do a lot of things there? And if you know your headphones well, and you know how they sound, you're A-being, you're referencing. If you're used to headphones, it's going to work for you. If you're used to speakers, it's going to work for you. There's no rules, okay? It's whatever you've... If it's whatever you listen to, whatever you're used to, whatever you're comfortable with. If you're in your bedroom, which a lot of people are in a small room, even more reason to listen quiet. As you turn it up, the room reacts and it doesn't give you a good feature. So listening quietly, some guys are happy with doing it on their laptop. Whatever works. So keep your monitoring consistent and keep it focused. But really, listen to something you know is a winner before you start. That's good, and, and what I take from there is, is know your monitor, whatever it is, just know it really well, and then if your room is really bad, try and keep it as low as possible so you don't get too much of the reflections and, and all the bad. Too much opinion from the room. And don't use this song to be the song you try the new speakers with. <laughs> That's a mistake. Chris, what's the next one? The next tip is now that we are looking and listening, make sure you have their rough mix, and make sure you have that in a place where you can go back and forth and A, B it, okay? If you're monitoring and we have some meters to look at, okay, when you make sure that you can use a monitor controller, okay? This is very important. If you can use a monitor controller to hit one button to go be back and forth between you and them, you, them, you, them, and make sure that level is just fine tune it until it's the same. So you, them, this way you're looking for, oh, a keyboard part, oh, a bass drum part, oh, a background vocal, oh, an effect, okay? They have this, they don't have this. You know, they have their rough mix, they don't have what you did. So everything you don't pay attention to, they're going to find wrong with what you're doing. So make sure that when you're working on something, that the last thing they listen to is what you reference, and you reference it at a level that's exactly the same as what you're doing. So you can really be on board to get inside their head before you add what you want. This is actually a really important thing and um, <clears throat> something I want to ask you about because, you know, a lot of people, they, they produce their tracks and they've listened to it for months and they get like what we call demoitis where they'll hear something and it's like they have to hear it a certain way. And then all of a sudden you do your thing and, and, and it sounds wonderful, but maybe there's something that it, they're not used to hearing. When you get to that point and there's a little bit of like disagreement where, where you kind of know that what you've done is probably the better decision, but they're stuck on, the, on what they had before. How do you deal with that? It's very simple. You have to know that, who knows if they've lived with it for months, days, hours. If they've listened to it three or four times, you're already in trouble. They're already used to it. Whether it's right or wrong, it's art. They like it. So you have to find a way to make what you do be reflective of that. So be able to add your take on it, but stay within the boundaries of what they like. And it can be tricky sometimes. Look, there's a lot of songs I mix where I'm pretty far away from what they had, okay? And there's a lot of songs where I have to kind of be in a certain area, but it's mostly in the balance. You might be brighter, bigger, bolder, more aggressive, but as long as the built-in heart of the record is there, you're gonna be okay. And if somebody insists on a really loud cowbell? You're going to want it even louder. <laughs> I got a fever.